And one of the things that, you know, sometimes we, we always need to remember that the past and the, our interpretation of the past is never static. That history is always an argument over what happened and why people did it. And oftentimes, our understanding of what happened in the past can be changed with the introduction of new evidence. So, just a few weeks ago, a new a biographer of Nixon, whose biography is coming out, um, John Farrell, whose biography is coming out uh, in, of Nixon is coming out in a month or two, uh, revealed that he had, in the course of his research, had uncovered some notes that uh, H.R. Haldeman, Nixon's chief of staff, uh, chief, a an a chief aide in the campaign, had scribbled during a phone call with Nixon in October of 1968. So this is while Nixon's still a private citizen, no, not president, not president-elect. The Paris peace talks are going on. And among those scribbled notes, and this is hard to see, he essentially says, uh, he's transcribing saying, you know, is there anything we can do to monkey wrench this? Anything RMN Richard Nixon can do? What can we do to stop these talks? What can we do to make these stops so that Johnson and Humphrey don't get a, vict a PR victory? They aren't get credit for ending the war. And then the talks can resume when I'm president, and then we can make something happen. So uh, a powerful example of how our understanding of the past is always changing, how new evidence can, can also introduce new, uh, new interpretations, and how perhaps some of, the, uh, some of the things we thought were true about, about what a president did and why he did it can change many, many decades after his death.